proudly Fulani Muslims convert to Christianity, evangelist Musa B.M. and Abdullahi Abubakar speak on soul winning for Jesus. What are you doing for souls to be saved? What role are you playing when it comes to soul winning? If Christ is to come today, how many souls are you going to present to him? Think about it. Now listen to both of them. Hallelujah, brethren. Good afternoon and greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Trust God, we are all doing fine. How is, uh, how is our today's activities? We thank God for his faithfulness. We want to appreciate God for what he has been doing in our lives. Indeed, it is not by our... Um, it's not that we are more righteous than others, those that are in the hospital and those that are uh, going to be with the Lord, but because of his love and his kindness towards all, we want to appreciate God for that. Uh, I'm presently together with my colleague, when um, the house and Chiwaka Bakime Itatafi Daddy. So when we are together now, <coughs> well, we have to come live in order to share some of the experiences we have in the mission field and also um with the importance of mission so the lord continue to see us through the lord continue to bless us as we this thing in the name of jesus Amen. so my colleague will start with the, he will introduce himself before he will continue then we'll continue together thank you very much we greet you all in the name of our lord jesus christ mm. my name is abdullah Abakar, and i am privileged and opportunity to be with my brother today mm. and we are here today by the mercy of god we mm. thank him for his mercy and his kindness it is a privilege mm. and we are not taking it for granted and this afternoon we want to also encourage you on what it means to go out and win souls for christ mm. this is one of the major assignments that jesus christ left for us before he departed from the earth mm. um i would like to read jesus last words which he gave to us, the last instruction that he gave to us in Matthew chapter 28 from verse 18. Mm. He gave us an instruction here which says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Mm. And he said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of, our, of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. He said, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Mm. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Hallelujah. This is one of the, he said, the last part really is one of the encouragement that has been keeping us up to now. The last part, which he said, I am with you, even to the end of the world. Mm. You know, one of the one of the hard desire of Jesus Christ is that many people will come back to him. Many people will come into his kingdom. Mm -hmm. And that is why he gave us this assignment. He gave us this task to go into the world, to win souls, to bring many into his kingdom, to depopulate hell and yes. populate his own kingdom. Yes. Sincerely, we have been joining so far and God has been merciful unto us. Yes. We have entered different places. We have gone to different bushes. We have entered different places. And by the mercy of God, we came back alive. And we are standing here to the glory of God. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying this. I'm just trying to portray the last verse that says, I am with you even to the end of the world. Mm -hmm. There is nobody that will take this mandate. There is nobody that will carry this assignment. And God will not be with that person even to the end. You may not likely go to the field. You may not likely be in the field. How about your community? How about where you are? How about your office? Nice. How about your school? How about that place that you are now currently? Mm. There are souls dying in that place. There are souls that are dying in where you are. That you can share this gospel with them. That you can preach the gospel of salvation and bring them back to Jesus Christ. Yes. What are you doing for souls to be so, to be to be won? Mm. What are you doing currently for Jesus Christ to be glorified in your life? What are you doing for the lost souls, for them to come back to Jesus Christ and to be one of, uh, one of the candidates in heaven? Yes. It is an assignment. 
And this assignment is not given to just a particular set of people. Mm. This assignment is for everybody that we should go into the world and preach the gospel. We should teach them. We should also tell them about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are to go out to preach the gospel, tell them about the love, the judgment, and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What are you doing for souls to be to be won? Some of you cannot be able to go out, but sincerely, your support can go. Yes. If your support cannot go, your prayers can go. Yes. If your prayers cannot go in where you are currently, you can preach the gospel. You can tell somebody about Jesus Christ. Mm. Your life alone can even make somebody to come to Jesus Christ. Yes. Your speech, the way you react, your activities, everything that you do can bring somebody into to Jesus Christ. Mm. One thing that we promise ourselves is that even if souls are in the pits, we will yes. definitely enter there. Yes. Even if they are inside the pit, we will enter that place and bring them back to Christ. Yes. There are souls that are perishing now. There are souls that are dying now mm. and they need a deliverer. Yes. And that is why Jesus Christ sat example with the 99 sheep. Yes. And the, and and the, the one, the lost one. one. Yes. He sat an example and he said that the 99 were there, but there is one that is lost and he has to leave those 99 and look for the other one. Mm. What are you doing for yes. souls to be, to be won? Mm. What are you doing for the gospel? When Jesus Christ will come on the last day, are you going to present an empty hand? Are you going to present an empty hand or you, you are going to present the souls of men mm. that you have brought into the kingdom of God? I will allow my brother to continue from here and I pray God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Did he have said a lot? We all have to know that uh, preaching the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is not, uh, is not an option. It's a necessity. It's a great, it's one of the great assignments that Christ left for us before he ascended. He said that we should go into the world and preach the gospel and make disciples in all nations. Then when we look at the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 14, what does that place say? Mm -hmm. He said, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world mm -hmm. as a witness to all nations mm -hmm. and then the end will come. Mm -hmm. That is uh, the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all, all uh, will be preached in all the world the as world. a witness in all nations, and the end will come. Mm. The question is, how, wh what part are you playing when it's come to soul winning? Christ did not say that we should go into the world and win argument, or we should lock ourselves in four corners of a building. He said that we should go into the world and preach the gospel in all nations. By implication. Christ has left this work for us believers. It is we believers that Christ left this work for us. My brother here has already said it. He said the work is not only for a set of people. Mm -mm. Remember, every believer is a missionary. Every unbeliever is a mission field. That's true. As long as you are a believer, every believer is a missionary. Every unbeliever is a mission field. Someone may, may tempted to say that even the Bible says we have different calling. If mm. God does not call me to mm. be in the field, how can you say that I'm a missionary? Mm. Yes, there is a different ways that you can be part of mission. That's true. Your prayer, when you're praying for those that are in the field, mm. you are part of mission. Mm. When you are supporting or you are partnering with those that are in the field, you are also part of the soul's winning. And the most important thing, do you know that the unbelievers don't read the Bible, they read us. That's true. Our life is a true. message to the unbelievers. The way you live your life can even win someone to Christ. That's true. How do you, how are you living your life as a child of God? Mm. And what part are you playing when it's come to winning souls or when it's come to souls winning? Mm. Remember, the devil is trying so hard to see that he have uh, he have he, uh, he have recruited a lot of people his into kingdom. his kingdom. Mm. Then what are we doing? To see that we have emptied the kingdom of hell and darkness and flood heaven with souls, mm. because the reason why uh, we um the reason why let me say the reason why you see we are so worried about souls winning soul winning a lot of Christians uh, today they don't take soul winning as uh, let me say it's so important like that. Mm. A lot of Christians today they don't take souls, uh, souls winning as um, let me say important. Mm. Why? Because yes, that's true. That's it. Because a lot of them are not mission minded. Mission -minded. 
So that's why uh, as the lot of them are not mission minded. And when we uh, look at how the Bible put it, they, it is an assignment that Christ left for us. And as believers, if we fail to do that, who do we expect to do that for us? Mm -hmm. See what the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 says. He said, the gospel was preached in all nations as a witness. Then the end will come. Mm -hmm. the, before the end will come, Christ is expecting us believers to take the gospel to where it is yet to reach. And there are places that the gospel have not yet reached. Up to now, there are those that they, do, they did not even know what or who is Christ. See, uh, let me even tell you the truth. If not, I witnessed it with my eyes. I couldn't have believed of today's in Nigeria, we still have people that don't wear clothes. That's true. They only wear leaves and skin of uh, wild animals uh, to cover their nakedness. Mm -hmm. If I did not see it, with, if I did not see it physically, I couldn't have believed it. Imagine those kind of people who, are, who, who have the responsibility to take, to take the gospel to them. It is we believers. And when we fail to do that, who do we expect to do that for us? Nobody. The answer is nobody. So like I've said, every believer is a missionary, every unbeliever is a mission field. Mm -hmm. It's not until you are in the field before you say that you are preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. It's not until you are you you have been there, there in the field to say that you are preaching the gospel. No, by praying for those that are in the field, that's true. You are also part of souls winning. That's true. By supporting those that are in the field, you are also part of souls winning. By encouraging those that are in the field, you are also part of souls winning. So therefore, we have already promised ourselves. Since this uh, this great commission is not an option, it's a necessity. Mm -hmm. Even if souls are inside pits, we will follow them. Okay. Without considering the, uh, the dangers, the challenges, or whatsoever ahead. Because we believe he who calls us is faithful and he will surely do it. Mm. Thus says the Bible. The Bible says that he who calls us is faithful and he will surely do it. So we don't care about the challenges and the dangers along the way. Because we believe that the God that calls us to go and do that work for him, he will never forsake us. Okay. You always be there with us. And by the way, Christ did not promise us an, uh, a free life challenges. Mm. But he did say in the midst of those challenges, always be there with us. And to our fellow young evangelists and missionaries, a lot of people will see that they are saying, oh, we, I didn't be, I have this, or I didn't be, I have the mm. means to go for this place, to go and evangelize in this place. Mm. See, what I want to encourage you with is, God's work done in God's way can never lack God's supplies. As long as it is God that is sending you to go and do that work for him, he knows how to go about of providing that which you need to go and spread his message. Mm. So as long as it is God that is sending you, he will keep us providing that which you need, that which you need in order to make his work, in order to make him known to those that are to know him. Mm. So don't be discouraged saying because of lack of resources. Mm. See, as long as it is God that is calling you, he knows how to go about everything. Mm. That's it. So, and again, always abide by the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Because as believers, we are expected to live according to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is our guidance. Holy Spirit is our teacher. The moment you submit to the leadership of the Holy Spirit, you will live a life pleasing before God. Mm. Because you see, the will of the flesh can never allow you to live a life pleasing unto God. Mm. What the Bible <clears throat> said? The Bible says, whoever lives by the flesh will reap destruction. And whoever lives by the Spirit, what will, be, what will he reap? The eternal life. So therefore, as long as it is the Spirit of God sending us to a particular place, let's obey and, uh, and cooperate to be there. So therefore, souls winning are um, one of the greatest assignments that Christ left for us. If Christ is to come back today, how many souls were you going to present to him? Are you going empty-handed to him? Are you going to... Which excuse do you have? How many souls are you going to present to him? If Christ, if Christ is to come back today, how many souls are you going to present to him? Think about this. Think about this. Jesus is coming soon. And when he comes back, he's going to ask you, how many souls have you won to him? Will he come back and meet you and say, well done, my faithful servant? Hmm. Will he meet you at the right position, at the right time, doing the right thing, doing that which is pleasing before him or which is pleasing to him? Mm. Think about this. So you see, most especially, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know the importance of souls winning. 
Some are saying that they are not, it is not their duty, like God did not call us into the mission field. So those who are pastors or who are missionaries, it is their responsibilities. It is God that called them. No, as long as you are a believer, you are also a missionary. Because you also have a part to play when it's come to mission field. The work is not for all, or it's not for a set of people like my brother has already said. Yes, the work is for all of us believers. The Lord see us through in the name of Jesus. Amen. I believe he still will have one or two things to say. It. My brother have also said it all. Like I've already shared, in your environment, in that office, mm. in that school, in that community, there are souls there that you can win for Jesus Christ. Mm. In that place that you are now currently, there are souls that are dying in sin. There are souls that need to hear the gospel of salvation. There are souls in that place that need this message of mm. Jesus Christ, mm. that need to be saved. There are souls in that place. Yes. It is your responsibility. It is your task given by our Lord Jesus Christ that you should preach the gospel to them. Yes. Will you sit down and look at them dying in sin? Will you sit down and look at them wallowing in sin? Mm. Will you sit down and look at them perish on the last day? This is a mandate yes. that God gave to us, mm. and it is for everybody. Body. I can vividly remember, brother, I don't mm. want, we went to a particular village, and just a word of encouragement yes. that we gave to those people, they were so happy. Honestly. Somebody was at the verge of committing adultery. Mm. Uh, somebody was at the verge of committing murder, and by the help of God, we are privileged to share this word of Jesus Christ, yes. the gospel to this person, and they didn't do that particular act that they wanted to do. Yes. What are you doing for souls today? I Like my brother has said, even if the souls are inside the pit, mm. by the mercy of God, we are going there to preach the gospel. Mm. And this is our encouragement. Yes. The last statement in verse 20 of Matthew chapter 28 mm. verse 20 he said I am with you yes. even unto the end of the world yes Jesus said he is with us even unto to the, the end, end of, of the, the world. world and we are holding on to this word mm. we are holding on to this word to wherever we are going to to preach this gospel of salvation to let people know mm. that Jesus Christ is coming soon yes to let people know there is no way you can be saved except through Jesus Christ. Yes. This word has been our encouragement mm. and we are going to hold on to it and by the special grace of God, we will continue this mandate and we will not stop now. Mm. Either we are alive, either death, no matter what, we are going out there to preach the gospel of salvation Amen. that our Lord Jesus Christ will be mm. glorified. Yes. And there is nothing that can stop us now. Tribulation, trials, whatsoever it is that you can mention, it will not stop us now. Yes. As long as we are alive, we will continue to share this gospel. We will continue to preach this gospel to those people that need to hear it. Mm. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 He have already said a lot and um, well, he have already said, see, one thing again that I want us to understand is this. You see, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of people that are looking at it as if we are just wasting our time mm. doing this. Mm. But how I wish God will open their eyes to know the importance of souls winning. They wouldn't have think that way. Sure. And there are a lot of people again that are thinking that we are just wasting our time or we are just using this or in one way or the other, like to, we have a motive behind it. No. Mm. All the, what is encouraging us, like a brother, my, I, like have, uh, my brother have said already is, um, the Lord has promised to be with us to the end of the war. And you see where I read that time in the book of Matthew, he said um, the gospel must be preached in all nations. The end will come. Mm -hmm. Remember, everything will pass away, but the word of the Lord never. will never pass away. It will remain forever and That's true. ever. That's true. Yes, the word of the Lord can never pass away. So when he said the gospel must be preached, who do we expect will go out and preach the gospel? Mm -hmm. Are we not the believers? Are we not the ones that Christ left the assignments for us? What are you doing for souls to be one? See, let me tell you the truth. Like um, uh, my brother has already said, there are these people 
that are about to uh, get themselves into committing a crime. But when we were able to share this gospel with them, to the glory of God, they were able to understand it. And then they, uh, they couldn't do what they want to do. Mm. And then, you see, there was a certain time again that I shared a testimony of how I was uh, how we were able to warn some of the flannies to, mm. uh, to the knowledge of Christ, uh, uh, Jesus. Mm. Because, that, uh, you see, Christ has already given us this opportunity. Mm. Well, let me break it down. This grace and the salvation that we are enjoying, it is mm. Christ who found us worthy. Found us worthy. It's not that we deserve it. That's true. It's not that we deserve it. Then why, why can we, why are we finding it so difficult to go out and share this kind of salvation and the grace that we are enjoying with those who are to know Him? Mm. Why? Why are we finding it so difficult to do that? Despite the fact that Christ has given us the command and, uh, and said that we should go out and preach the gospel in all nations. Because it is a necessity to every believer. That's true. It is a necessity to every believer. It's not an option. So far you are a believer. It is a necessity. Mm. It is a necessity. All of us have a part to play. Mm. All of us have a part to play when it's come to preaching the gospel of Christ Jesus. And you see, a lot of people were may tempted to say that um <laughs> may tempted to say that now it is Fulanis that are taking over. Yes, do you remember the word of the Lord? He said the, remember the word of the Lord said, The last shall be the first, and the first shall be the last. Sure. Yes. So the word of the Lord has already said that the last shall be the first and the first shall be the last. So therefore, I pray that may we not be the last in the name of Jesus. Mm. I pray that may we not be the last and may we not be uh, those ones that the Lord will say, depart from me oh, and the last day. Mm. That is it in the name of Jesus. Mm. So dear brethren, please always keep us in your prayers and always make sure that you have a part to play when it's come to mission field. Mm. So because... um. Me, like I've always said, a mission, every born believer is a mission field. That's true. And every believer is a missionary. That's true. Doesn't matter where you are, what you're, what you're doing, or where you, where you are coming from. In that office, there are unbelievers. Mm. In that your school, there are unbelievers. Yes. In that your community, there are unbelievers. In your neighborhood, it might be there are unbelievers. In every way you find yourself, there are unbelievers. What are you doing for those people to become, uh, to come to the knowledge of Christ Jesus? Mm. What sacrifice are you making? Mm. The Lord see us through in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is a great assignment that we have to be serious about. Because if Christ is to come now, how many souls are we going to present to him? This is a question that I will leave with every one of us here. So the Lord continue to see us through in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord continue to see us through and give us the grace to be committed mm. in this great commission that the Lord has commanded us to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. We all got to know that it is for everybody, it's not for the set of people. Mm. So the Lord see us true. Amen. Yes, we are flying is for Christ and we are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ Jesus. That's true. Yes, forget Christ did not come for a particular people. Christ did not come for a particular tribe. Christ come for all. Whoever that is ready to come to him is ever ready to welcome that person. Mm. So Christ, they don't be surprised to see flannies for Christ. We are not ashamed of the gospel. We can never be. We can never be. Because having Christ as your personal Lord and Savior is one of the best things that can that's ever happen, happen to any human being on earth. That's true. So are we, that's why we are not ashamed of it. And we can never be. Because why? Because we have found salvation. Salvation is the best thing that everyone should have and everyone should be proud of. We don't deserve it, but God finds us worthy. Mm. And some, because, and some at least are looking at it that, because, uh, could you imagine that it was a message I received there before yesterday that someone is saying that um, all this kind of challenges, criticism, insult is, and if he, if he was the one, he would stop what he was doing to live his life normal as every other person. Mm -hmm. See, let me tell you the truth. The Bible said that we should rejoice and count it as an honor when we are insulted because of his name. That's true. Great is our reward in heaven. That's right. Why do we, why do we expect because of the Christ? Even Christ himself, he was criticized. Hmm. He was rejected. Hmm. He was tortured to death. Hmm. Then who are we? Who are we? Who are we? If our master Jesus will face all those kind of challenges, then who are we not to? No, uh, who are we? That we can never do that, that, that we expect the journey to be soft for us. No, 
no, no, no, no. If our masters, Jesus, can face what he has faced, then we should expect more than we should expect more from the enemies. That's right. But we have to live according to what we always read in the Bible. I always say this: when you found yourself being insulted because of the name of the Lord, count this and an honored and count this and an honored and be rejoiced. Why? Because it is God who found you worthy to be insulted because of Him. Mm. There are a lot of believers out there. Yeah, Why are they not being insulted because they are believers? Why is it that it is you that is being insulted? Because Christ has found you worthy to be insulted because of him. So therefore, don't feel discouraged. Always hold on to him tight. Always hold on to him. He again promised us an easy life. But he did say in the midst of all of every challenges, he will be there with us. Mm. What, what, what can separate us from the, from the love of God? Is it, is it tribulations? Is it manipulations? Is it hatred? Is it mm. criticism? Is it insult? Mm. Mm. That's absolutely, absolutely nothing. So, therefore, all of you that answer the names believers that are trying to discourage us in one way or the other, please, just save that your energy and use it to do something that can add value to yourself. Because to, for us, to live is for Christ. To die is again. If we live, we live for Christ. If we die, it's again. So, please. If you can't, just say a word of prayer for, uh, to us and move on. If you can't, just, I mean, silent. But for you to say that I like, should just, like, we should stop what we are doing and living our life normal like every other person. No. The other souls out there, who are going to reach out to them? We know that the work is not for all, only us. It's not for, uh, it's not for only us. That I know. Because God is rising men, not man. God is rising men, not man. But, Christ has given us the, uh, let me say, the, uh, Christ has assigned us into one office or the other. That work which Christ has assigned you to do for him, how are you handling it? Because I believe that whoever that knows how to be on his knee yeah. will stand up. That's true. Prayers, prayer, hold on, let us hold on to prayers because that's what always keeps us going. Whoever knows how to be on his knee will stand up. And that's why we refuse to, to we refuse to be a part-time Christian because there is full-time devil. Mm. Don't be a part-time Christian because there is full-time devil. Full devil. That's, that's true. it. That's Don't true. be a part-time Christian because there is a full-time devil. Mm. If you say you'll be a part-time Christian when there is a full-time devil, I'm not sure. I'm not sure you're gonna cope or how you're going to cope with your Christian journey. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The Lord see us through in the name of Jesus. Right. The Lord continue to bless every one of you in the name of Jesus. Right. Always keep us in your prayers. Your prayers matter the Lord. We too, we need prayers. We too, we need prayers. As we are praying along with you, you also pray along with us. Because iron sharpened iron does says the word of God. Does says the Bible. Iron sharpened iron. So keep us in your prayers. The Lord bless each and every one of you in the name of Jesus. Right. And these two people that you are seeing, we are, we, we, we are full pay for Christ. We are full for Christ and we are not ashamed of the gospel of That's Christ right. Jesus. Right. Yes. So, over to you. Thank you very much. Mm. We are very, very grateful. Um, we would like to use this privilege to pray for mm. you also. Paraventure, you are here. You have not encountered Jesus to be your Lord and your personal Savior. Mm. We are living testimony of his goodness, his kindness, his mercy. He brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Mm. And we are not taking that for granted. Yes. But eventually you are here, you have not accepted Jesus mm. to be your Lord and your personal Savior. Or you are here, you have accepted him along the line. You don't know what happened to your salvation. Mm. We want to pray with you. Say this prayer after us. Say, Lord Jesus, mm. I have come before you. Have mercy upon me. Mm. I know I have sinned against you. Please forgive me. Write my name in the book of life and take it away from the book of death. Mm. Today, I accept you afresh as my Lord and Savior. Mm. I believe you died for my sins mm. and I believe you resurrected for me. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Father, we thank you for as many that have prayed this prayer. Mm. Lord, I pray by your mercy, may you help them to live for you. Amen. May you help them to serve you faithfully. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Write you, their name in the book of life and take it away from the book of death. Amen. Help them to live for you even unto the day that you appear and you come back for us. Amen. Take all the glory, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you very much. Amen. And Amen. God bless you. Amen. We are very grateful. 
Yes, thank you once again for being with us and for joining us from the, the beginning of this live broadcast to this very moment that we're about to end. The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Anyway, your opportunity to see us, you can you are free to say I feel love for Christ or feel love for Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so to what baby I'm in your tiny live video or live broadcast me but I'm not fulfilled the any of them in full day me full day got a year so so don't come away full full day in the majority of people coming and down in barata full full day ah ah me full day got a year so you know what I mean one day got to Hana I'm in your tiny come on we are on a night on one day my cook can't go can't come can't come can't go what I know in the eye what I know what I'm in the area you mean you think you come in kohani mean bia you mean you should pray for us yes because your prayer i said we sh- we shouldn't have to finish the live broadcast without yes. u- without using our yes. dialect or yes. without uh, uh, speaking to some of you in the flani language nice. and um presently we are together with one of our brother here we will not going to show his face for for one or two reasons mm. so he will be the one to close the session for us with the word of prayer using the flani language mm. So the Lord see us through in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm, we will not going to show his face due to one or two reason or the other. So we're going to close the session for us with the word of prayer using the Fulani language. So over to you my brother. All right so I'm going to do our Mm. Allah jo mira mo baude min getti mo gan wokati jora ba min getti mo. Mm. Min getti mo gan ko dum dum gatta der yonki ami jora ba min getti mo. Mm. Jo mira min toroma be anda ma to be goni fu. Mm. Fulbe yobra ngatta be be ketta lawol gonga gam be accha wal ke kude de boda e der inde yesu amen to tina be ngatta be lawol bodungo mm-hmm. gam fulbe andirata kuje kadude de be ngatta de ladde yes yobra ko labe ko ngatta du woda mm-hmm. ngatta be tukuma mm-hmm. be anda awoni lawol mm-hmm. awoni gonga mm-hmm. wala jahotu jomira seetu to kito lawol ma yes yobra ko labe ko lawol e der inde yesu amen bum tina be jomira yes Yada gitu mak pepera engkau pun engkau tak berwarna. Yes, Lord. Tukku maju orang dari India. Yes, Lord. Tukku nang, ambil bo, tukku berada di support ikut umi. Kamu kan maya Yesus, jom orang kena berkat yang dari India. Yes, Lord. Jom orang tukku nang, kamu engkau ikut umi kuat dari India. Yes, Lord. Musik Kristen. Amin, 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 amin. Oh, we are wishing everyone of you a blessed day ahead in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord wash your going in and your coming, your going out and your coming in in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. The Lord prosper the work of your hands in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. The Lord give you the grace to stand firm and strong in the faith in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. The Lord help you to stand firm and to resist any temptation or trial of the devil in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. The Lord see us through and the Lord continue to be with us from now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank Thank you, thank you, thank you. Young Fulani for Christ loves you all with the love of Christ Jesus. Thank you once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. This is Chinex TV.